Have you ever pondered how a traumatic event from your childhood could shape your adult mental health? We often underestimate the profound impact that experiences during our formative years can have on us. Trauma in childhood, be it physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, or even neglect, is more common than we'd like to admit. These experiences, often hidden away in the recesses of our minds, can have long-lasting effects that subtly influence our mental health as we grow older. Childhood trauma doesn't discriminate, it can affect anyone, regardless of their background. It can leave invisible scars that alter perceptions, emotions, and even relationships. From anxiety and depression to personality disorders and addiction issues, the echo of these early experiences can resonate throughout a lifetime. Yet acknowledging these influences is not about attributing blame, but about understanding our own mental health map. Understanding the link between childhood trauma and adult mental health is an important step towards healing and prevention. The question arises, how does childhood trauma influence our adult mental health? To understand this, we must delve into the psychological mechanisms behind the impact of trauma. When a child experiences a traumatic event, it can disrupt the normal development and function of their brain. This is akin to a construction project going awry. If the foundation is not laid properly, the entire structure can become unstable. In this case, the structure is the child's brain, and the foundation is their early experiences. When trauma interferes, it can lead to issues like anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other mental health disorders. Beyond the physical impact on the brain, trauma can also alter a person's perception of self, others, and the world around them. Imagine looking at the world through a distorted lens, that's how a trauma survivor might see their surroundings. This skewed perception can contribute to dysfunctional coping mechanisms and behaviors. If we believe the world is threatening, we may become overly defensive or withdrawn. If we see ourselves as unworthy, we might engage in self-destructive behaviors. As complex as these mechanisms may seem, they are the body's way of trying to protect itself from further harm. It's a survival instinct, a shield raised against perceived threats. But the good news is, they are not unchangeable. So, what can we do to recognize and heal from these deep-seated wounds? Recognition is the first crucial step. Acknowledge that the experiences of your past have shaped your present. Understand that the heavy burdens you carry, the anxiety, the depression, the fear, may be rooted in the traumas of your childhood. Then, seek professional help. You don't have to navigate this journey alone. Therapists, especially those skilled in trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy, can guide you. They can help you reprocess your traumatic memories, not to erase them, but to understand them, to strip them of their power over you. Imagine your trauma as a tangled knot. Each thread is a memory, an emotion, a reaction. Therapy helps you slowly untangle these threads. You'll learn to view your experiences from a new perspective. You'll develop healthier coping mechanisms. You'll reclaim control of your life. Remember, healing is not linear. There will be setbacks, days when the knot seems tighter than ever. But that's okay. It's part of the process. You're not alone in this. Reach out to support groups, share your story, listen to others. You'll find strength in solidarity. Healing from childhood trauma is not an overnight process, but with the right help and support, it is entirely possible. Remember, it's never too late to seek help and start your journey towards healing and recovery.